Good morning, folks. This is tutorial number 12, uh, which is called the Camp Follower Mechanism, and it belongs to a playlist uh, that is uh, named uh, uh, Kinematics Analysis with uh, 3D Experiences, uh, released 2024. Uh, what I have here is a, a stripped down version, an element version of a Camp Follower Mechanism. So we have a, a a wall, a cam that is uh, stuck in there and is turning, and a follower, this pin, which goes up and down that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, hole and stays in contact with the, with the cam. Now, it is possible to do this problem without doing a surface. However, what I'm gonna do is to show you how to extract the surface of the scan and then later on use the, uh, the point surface joint. Point surface joint, this is a prismatic joint up and down, and obviously this is a rubble joint, okay? Uh, all right, so uh, this is essentially chapter seven of the uh, tutorial book that I did back in 2016, nine years ago, almost nine years ago. And since it's not revised, uh, uh, what I decided to do is to create these video uh, video tutorials on YouTube, which shows you the same problem done in release 2024X. There are some uh, uh, changes in icon and functionalities, etc., between the original, well, this original version of 2016 and 2024. Okay, I'm not going to worry about dimensions, so uh, let's go ahead and. Uh, uh, create our mechanisms. Okay, let me start with an uh, assembly uh, assembly application, which means we're going to make a product. And uh, I will insert in it my first uh, 3D part, which is going to be the wall. So insert 3D part, and I'm going to rename this thing, or at least modify the name so that it starts with wall. And uh, here wall. Let's go make it. Oops. Okay. Uh, so get into the part design on that vertical plane. I will sketch uh, that uh, L uh, uh, shaped uh, section. Like that. This is going to be the wall. All right, exit. Exit. And I'm going to add this thing. A little bit more, maybe 0.1 feet. The dimensions don't matter here. So now I will make a hole up there. And there are different ways of making a hole. So let me go ahead and make it with the, the hole option here. Uh, this uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, exit. I'm going to use the whole option, which is uh, uh, right where is the hole? right there. Uh, I could have drawn a sketch there and then made a pocket, but uh, that's fine. And this is going to be uh, fine up to to next, yeah, right there. And I do another one on this side. So uh, another hole on this side, maybe there. And once again, up to next, that's good. So we have two holes here. All right, so we go all the way to the top and insert the second part, which is going to be the cap. So insert. Uh, 3D part, and I'm going to call this thing to be cam. All right, let's go make it. So uh, double click on a convenient plane. How about that plane? I will sketch. 
Well, uh, maybe I project this because I want a, uh, a pin to be that size. So let me do a simple projection here. There. Okay, there we are. And then complete the rest of the uh, rest of the cam. So let me use the profile. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, exit. Now, because I want, I don't want a hole here. I want a pin actually. So I'm going to use the uh, in the model. I use the multi pad. If it's too much of a hassle, just pad and then draw something on it, and then pad it again. There are two curves here. One of them is the big profile. So let me make this thing point one feet. So it looks like, ooh, that's too big. Uh, 0.01, let's see how it looks like now. Uh, maybe point, uh, point 0.1, oh, 0.05. Oh, I should have changed my units. Actually, let me make this thing 0.08. Good. Okay, so that's going to be cam. Now this one is going to be the pin. Uh, if I make it bigger than 0.08, it will actually turn into a pin. So we go point, uh, uh, maybe one, see how it looks like. Oops. Close point one. That's maybe a little bit more. Point uh, two. There we are. That better? Okay. So uh, let me actually just uh, move this thing so that exit. Uh, I want to move that thing all the way to the top. And I use the compass. There we are. Good. Now we're going to do that uh, uh, cam follower follower okay all the way to the top uh, right click insert 3d i'm going to call it follower right click properties follower where and follower Okay, let's go make it. So on a convenient plane, on that top plane, I will, uh, actually let me go to uh, shape, 3D shape. On that top place, the uh, top plane, I will sketch. I'm gonna project that circle too. So I'm too lazy to draw one. There we are. You can see that. And then I can pad this thing. Exit this, uh, exit and then pad it let me make this thing higher whoa whoa point oh let's see how it looks like no point three point four yeah i guess this will uh this will be okay, except that I'll make it a little bit longer, maybe 0.5. Okay, good, good, good. Now, at the bottom of this, at the bottom of that, I want to create a point. So while we're in this part, point, center of a circle, there, and we say, okay. Okay, let me remind you that I want to extract the surface of this cam. So in order to do that, first of all, you have to be in cam double click here and you have to because you're talking about extracting you have to be in generative shape design or the baby version of that generative wireframe and surface either way uh sure i'll go to generative uh, shape design all right look for extract on the transform look for the transform right there see that transform and this icon right next to join 
uh, extract or multiple extract that's up to you so i can do an extract and i can select any of these surfaces and then i say okay show me do the tangent continuity so it goes all the way around okay good it is it is extracted surface has been extracted here you can see that but i also want to join it now I mentioned in the uh, in the uh, PowerPoint slide that you can do this problem also without using uh, without using the uh, extracting surface, but you have to be a little bit careful. So anyway, join uh, uh, this entire thing. Then okay, all right. So where is everything? That guy is in hiding. Let me bring it to the show mode. Okay, there we are. Uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So we go all the way to the top. Okay. And uh, let me move this thing, put it there. Okay, let's go ahead and apply our constraints. So uh, first of all, let, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this. Maybe uh, I move it like that. Okay, good. So that we can see things. Now, uh, uh, we fix this uh, wall, so let's go ahead and fix the wall. Fix that uh, first part, which is the wall. Now, I'm going to put this uh, cam inside of that uh, inside of that hole. So, uh, uh, what, there's two, two ways you can do this thing. One, you actually directly go and create the revolution right now. So, for example, revolute. And the different ways of doing it. So I will do uh, access to access, plane to plane, and uh, angle between two angles as the uh, angle between two planes as the uh, as the uh, the control uh, mechanism. So we click on it. So this axis. Oh, sorry, that's not the one. Clear. I'm talking about your selection. Okay. This axis, that axis, and this plane, and that plane. Okay, and the thing to control the angle, because um, you need you need to you know say what kind of a uh, control do you have. So I'm going to say horizontal plane of uh, the 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 cam, for example, x y plane of the cam. And the xy plane of the wall right there this is the controlled entity so xy plane of this and xy pl plane of the cap wall and the cap right now it's they're sitting the angle is uh, zero so just see what the way it is uh fine i don't want to do any contact calculation okay now we're going to put this thing in that hole so we can do a prismatic joint prismatic joint and the way I'm going to do that, again, line, line, plane, plane, and uh, the angle between uh, between those two planes, as you see, uh, not the angle. Uh, yeah, well, let's uh, look at it for a second. So I'm going to use uh, this one. No, 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 no. Uh, Access, access, plane, plane. And uh, we're not going to need a control because that's going to be controlled by other things. Okay, so let's do that. This axis and that axis. Now, I want two planes to be coincident, the vertical plane of this, for example, and the vertical plane. But the problem is that you cannot make it coincident because they're different location. For example, if you look at the vertical plane of the wall, of the wall Say uh, say this YZ plane of the wall, and the YZ plane of the uh, uh, the follower. Okay, there's going to be a problem. First of all, I don't need this stuff down below. Let me actually delete this. Yeah, if I say okay, there's going to be a problem, and the reason is that because of what I did, uh, these vertical planes. Are a different location and these axes are a different location. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the. If you see that, you go here, uh, you go here, you go change type, and the type is the angle. So those two planes, I want them to be parallel. 
I don't want to be coincident. Okay? And now it's all right. No problem. We can call it, call it, uh, call it say. Good. Now I want to put this point on that surface. So another joint that I can create is uh, engineering connection, point surface right there, because the, the, there is no, you cannot find that point, point surface in here. You have to go to engineering correction, select it from the pull down menu, select point surface joint. And for the point, it's going to be this point, And for the surface, it's going to be this surface that we extracted, remember, and joined it. Let me see if I can. Uh, Actually, let me, let me, instead, let me uh, clear this and instead select that, that join to avoid any issues. So that would have been in the cap, right? No. You may not see a difference, but, uh, so uh, say, okay, good. Okay. Oops. Oh, uh, let me. Update right there. So it is. See that? That point is on that surface. And if you want to make this thing bigger, no problem, so that you can see it better. But believe me, this point is on that surface. In fact, we can check that. We can check that. And how do we check it? So let's go to assembly under uh, uh, manipulate. So we go manipulate, uh, respect the constraint and rotate about that axis okay let's check it so if i select this see this it is on that surface you can see that it's moving up and down good good i have not even created a mechanism here it's just that i'm manipulating this good i don't want to see these planes so let me do a control f uh, get me the planes and uh, find that search and select them and then hide them. I don't want to see these. Good, good. Okay, so uh, it's almost done. So now we're going to go to the uh, mechanic, uh, mech uh, what is that, uh, mechanical system design. Uh, let's get the mechanism representation. Just make it actually. And then look at what we've got. We have a revolute, prismatic, and point surface. I don't have my join here, so let me go ahead and actually create a, uh, not a join, a fixed fixed part. I don't know why the fixed part. Maybe I forgot to do it, but let me do that now. So here is going to be fixed, and the fix is going to be that uh, wall. Okay. Now, if you go to mechanism uh, mechanism manager, you see that fixed because it was added later on. I have to add it to my uh, rest of the rest of the joints. Now, how can we check it? By the way, let me go back there. Uh, remember that prismatic bone or prismatic joint? I just deleted the, the last two dollar boxes or the uh, the selection boxes. So that's why. Uh, we did, that's why we didn't, didn't need it. So let's go here, click on mechanism, let's check it out. Yeah, that's the way it should be, right? Believe me, this point is on that surface. <laughs> right there, you can see that. Okay, good, good, good. So that takes care of this. And now we're going to go to uh, mechanical systems experience, create a simulation. Okay, let's create, let's put some physics into this. For example, specify the RPM of, uh, uh, RPM of uh, uh, rotation here. So we go to uh, law excitation. Uh, for uh, support, I will select this angle driven command f of x. So this gives you the right now it is uh, the angle is zero, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say uh, uh, plus. Uh, let's say uh, one turn uh, maybe uh, 
Two turn in two turns in one second. No, two RPM. Two. I can make it the hundred and twenty RPM. Turn underscore uh, uh, min turn per minute times time. Let's say okay. Let's say okay. Now we create. Let's also plot the try to plot the velocity of this point. Uh, well, I need to create a probe here. So let's go ahead and create a probe. Uh, I want to select a point here. Can I do that? Because I don't have a, 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 a point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel that. Go in this part and create a point up there. Uh, so uh, what is this thing? Uh, uh, essential point center of a circle. This circle, say OK. Good. Let's go back to our scenario. Right there. Over here. Uh, create a probe. This is the point. Say OK. And now we're going to create our uh, kinematic scenario. So this is the excitation, the law that I added. Uh, the probe is the one that I created up there. And for the duration, let's make it, uh, remember this is 120 RPM, so that's two round in one second. If I do two seconds, this will go four times, right? So let me make this thing two seconds. And that, that means that this cam is gonna turn four times, I believe, because it was 20, 20 RPM or two rounds per second. Okay, uh, so let's make this thing small also. Five. All right, and say okay, and run it. Too fast. <laughs> let's try to change that. Uh, it was too fast, so I didn't like it. Double click on it. Uh, for the parameter, let me make this thing as point oh, 1. Okay, so run it again. Okay. And now, if you want to see the animation right there. But again, you can see that this point is going up down on the cap all right good if you want to see the plus level basically the problem is done there is physics here okay so if you go because go and say show me the velocity of that probe that i created in the for example vertical direction or the magnitude of it it doesn't matter so i'll do uh, magnitude of linear velocity and then magnitude of linear velocity selected and then you can plot it okay four times so uh, that's uh, what it is and uh, notice that uh, that surface the surface of that cam will actually dictate the uh, the the nature of the plot okay so uh, anyway, be careful about these units uh, that's uh, that's it. Uh, good luck.